Welcome back to the channel. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for the right time to go to Benton Falls. And after what seems like an interminable amount of rain every single day, uh, this past weekend gave me the perfect opportunity to go. And so today I wanted to take you on a trip up to Benton Falls and tell you a little bit about why it is so special to me. So let's get started. I first came to Benton Falls back in 1976, 1977, when I first went to Lee, what was at the time Lee College. It was the definitive place to go for Lee students for a couple of reasons. One was because back in the day, girls were not allowed to wear pants on campus. Um, guys were not allowed to wear shorts on campus. It was, a, it was a much different university, much different college back then. And so we would go places where we could sort of let our hair down and be ourselves and be kids, you know. Here, here's the deal. I, I am trying at this point in my life, I am trying to slow my life down just a little. I'm not trying to rush over here or rush over there and do this and do that and soak it all up as fast as I can. I want to slow down and sort of just enjoy the ride. And if you go to Benton Falls, that's what you need to do. So here's a couple of tips. As you're driving up the mountain, Chilhowee Mountain, you're going to pass some overlooks, and I highly recommend that you stop at at least three of them. The first thing you're going to come to is the overlook that, that looks out over the Okoe Marina and uh, Sugarloaf Mountain. And it is a beautiful sight at any time of the day or night. Well, I don't know so much about the night, but it's a beautiful sight. And I highly recommend that you go just before sunrise or just before sunset. You will get the most glorious views during that time. A little further up, again, on the left is an overlook with a gazebo. And the gazebo is just a lot of fun. Unfortunately, people do what people do. And it's been uh, graffitied quite a bit, which I suppose some people think adds to its charm. For me, I find it quite disheartening. But there is also a really nice view from there. It doesn't look out over Sugarloaf Mountain. It looks a different direction. And then a little further up the mountain on the right-hand side is uh, an overlook that looks at, at up the Okoe River from the marina. And a lot of people stop there just to watch the sunrise. That's as far up the mountain as they go. And if you wanted to do that and stop right there and just enjoy the sunrise and go back home again, that, you would not be disappointed. The mountains are just gorgeous. And if you go during the fall when the leaves are changing, oh, it, it's like you've died and gone to heaven. But when you get up to the parking lot, and it is a paid lot. So the, the lot is $3. So make sure you got some change. Make sure you got something to write with because you will need to hang a tag on your car to, to let them know that you filled out the form. They do not provide you with anything but an envelope. So make sure you've got a little something with you. There are restrooms there. And during the camping season, the main part of the camping season, they are generally open. But if you go, like, during the wintertime or something, you may find that they're closed, so be prepared for that. The walk to the falls is only just under a mile and a half, and I, am, I typically walk that really, really fast because I want to get there, and I want to get those pictures, and I want to get out. And on this particular trip, uh, you know, I took about an hour to make that walk. I just took my time. I was trying to do sort of, you know, what the Japanese talk about with forest bathing, of being able to just soak in the atmosphere of the woodland. A couple of things before we get started down that track, because this is mainly about Ben Falls, it's not really about anything else, but the McCamey Lake there is a great place to go swimming when the weather's right. It's a great place to go swimming. It was built back in the 1930s during the time when the government was, you know, trying to put a lot of people back to work. And so they built a dam and built this lake up here. And it's, and it's generally just as still as glass. And again, up there at sunrise, it is gorgeous. There's a trail that walks all the way around it. Uh, you'll know you've made it about halfway when you get to the uh, wooden bridge. Um, and you're going to be, you'll pass some campsites there along the way as well. And uh, 
Yeah, I think that's about it. So let me just take you up there and talk to you a little more. Most people come up here to hike down to Benton Falls. And I recommend coming up here a couple of days after a good rain or several days of rain. So the waterfall actually has water. I have been up here when um, it's just been a trickle and it does not have near the impact. It's not a very far hike and most people come up here. It's easy to do in Chacos or tennis shoes. But if you're gonna go down to the falls and really explore, then I would recommend a pair of waterproof hiking shoes. While there are rocks that you can walk around on when you get there, it's always nice just to be able to get out into the water. I typically carry a bottle of water, a little bit of food to snack on when I get down there, and a walking stick. You don't really need the walking stick for this trail, but I have found that it helps me when I'm walking around the rocks at the falls or climbing back out from the falls up to the top of the trail. And the hiking stick does help me because I, number one, I'm carrying a backpack, and number two, I have horrible balance. Now there are bears on this mountain, but I've never seen one, knock on wood. Um, I have a feeling that if I were camping up here at night, they might come in close to a campground to look for food. But we're at the top of the falls and it sounds pretty good. I don't know, I don't know how fast the water's flowing, but it sounds like it is. Now, keep in mind that Benton Falls is 65 feet tall which means that we're gonna be walking down 65 feet or just over six floors. That's not the issue. <laughs> the issue is that when we're done, we're gonna walk six floors back up. I did set my uh, pocket two up on my backpack harness to video myself coming down the steps and told a really long story coming down the steps only to realize when I got to the bottom that I had inadvertently set my camera up to take pictures instead of video. <laughs> and it didn't capture any of that. Uh, so, you know, maybe later. I hope you enjoyed this little trip up to Benton Falls. There's no way in the world that I can do it justice. It holds a very special place in my heart uh, from very early days. It formed some friendships that I still hold dear today. And every time I go, I, I think about those people and those events. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. We'll try to go back when the leaves change and um, we'll work on our little plan to do a little camping, which I don't generally do, and we might, we might go there. We'll see you on the next video. <laughs>